Hello, I just wanted to take a few minutes to present to you uh, the new version of uh, Routine on desktop, uh, the 0.7 version, uh, with a lot of new features. So I just wanted to showcase by quickly uh, all that new stuff. Um, so let's, let's get going. So the first thing is that we've introduced a new planner screen that resembles a calendar, but also integrates tasks, which are the task of the day scheduled for a specific day. You can see more uh, if needed. And on the left hand side, you've got what we call a batch, which are tasks that you want to do this week, but you haven't decided exactly when. And obviously, uh, you can drag and drop to block time, you can resize, you can move, uh, and you can also uh, schedule for a specific day by just dropping there. Uh, pretty, it's pretty simple. You can change uh, the, 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 the week, and so it changes the batch. With this kind of new uh, concept of batches, um, we've introduced a new uh, command, a new operation, which we call postpone. Um, the idea is that whenever you have a task and you don't, we're not, you're not really sure when you want to work on it, uh, you want to basically uh, kind of reconsider the task later on. You don't really want to put that for a specific day, which all the task management tools do today is provide you with a snooze functionality that puts the task back in the next Monday. So we've introduced a, uh, another operation which is called postpone, uh, which you can use with command P, which basically lets you say, okay, I want to reconsider this in two weeks. And as you can see, it's not scheduled for a specific day, but for a specific week. So it will show up here uh, in two weeks. So theory here and not uh, in a specific day. So that allows you to have your day really, really clean and focus on what's happening today. And uh, likewise, uh, with this new concept of batches, the tasks that you don't complete at the end of the day do not get rolled over automatically to the next day. Instead, they go back to the current batch. Again, the idea is to allow you uh, to really focus on what's happening today and have a clean day every day. Uh, and if you don't complete it one day, it's probably because uh, it needs to be reconsidered. Maybe it's something that it's no longer important or you can delegate it or you just ignore the task. Um, about ignoring, uh, actually, we've introduced more uh, kind of uh, meaning uh, in terms of events. And so now you can say that uh, you can ignore events. So what exactly does that mean? Uh, it means that by uh, now default, so let me move this, by default, you can have, um, you can configure your um, calendar to be either primary or secondary. What that means is that um, uh, the primary uh, calendar events are events that you're supposed to attend, whereas the events from secondary calendars are more informative. Uh, what that really um, results into in the app is that on the today view, we're only going to show you what we call active events. So events coming from primary calendars or events that you have unignored. Let me show you. Uh, you can take an event like this one and say, okay, I want to unignore it. Uh, if you do that, it will show up in the today view. Uh, that's for yesterday, uh, but uh, that, that's the idea. So if you have an event and actually this one, you're not gonna, you're not gonna attend it, you can ignore it and it's going to disappear from the today view. That's, that's the idea. So that's basically it for the planner. Uh, we've also worked extensively on the console and now um, we provide you with a lot of uh, information. So let me show you. Uh, if you type something now, by default, uh, you have uh, an action, which is to save in the inbox, but you can also say, I want to create and postpone, in which case it's gonna be put in the current batch. Uh, as you can see, you can navigate between different actions. Uh, but same thing if you say for one hour, uh, it's going to allow you to block some time for the task or create a regular event. Uh, so that's, that's for uh, the, the, the actions. But as you can see as well, the suggestions now come with a helper on the right hand side. So in this case, it's not super, uh, um, super relevant, 
the if you say on for instance as you can see it's going to provide you with a precise date so it's easier for you to know what is happening uh, in, I mean what it's going to mean uh, specifically in terms of the recurrences we've also reworked the whole thing so that now you can specify a starting date and also an end date to say for instance until next month for instance you can do those things to have more control over um, the uh, recurrences so that's obviously super uh, interesting um, also we've allowed the integration with your contacts so now you can say okay i want to actually schedule something with sorry uh, with someone so it's going to create a meeting so again that is super valuable um, the other thing that we've introduced is the ability to specify the target of um, uh, an object creation let me show you you could say something like i don't know what doing and redirect it uh, that's the, the term that we call that that comes from unix which is basically to say that you're creating something and you want to put it somewhere else not in the inbox uh, but maybe in another task another event or even uh, a, a, a person uh, or a page so in this case it could be something like this but we go further we allow you to add text not necessarily create tasks but also we allow to use this uh, separator uh, character to indicate um, in which section uh, so in this case i don't have any but if you had an h1 or h2 sections you could say okay i want to redirect specifically uh, in that section which means that it's going to be put under that title so again very easy to capture information and organize it without having to manually go into those pages tasks uh, events and so on and so forth um, yeah, that's basically it uh, as a quick introduction. Uh, we've written two blog posts about uh, those capabilities, so you can check those out. Thank you.